Now, if we look here to move on and look at the results for signs such as no, here the linguistic factors in our smaller sample did not turn out to be significant, but we have highly significant results for ethnicity by gender. Again, these interacted a bit and we combined the two factors. But what do we see here? An interesting pattern with African Americans using the more standard forms, more likely to use more standard forms than either white males and again, or white females. And again, we see white males least likely to use standard form. But again, our token count here is, is fairly low. This is the problem when you take a large national study and can start partitioning it site by site. Where we do have a very substantial amount of data comes with the results for one handshake. Now, Seal gave you examples of the three main variants, the citation form, just with the one handshake, L handshake, and open or five handshake. These account for the majority of variants. There are several others that are here. And again, we see, well, only 40% are in the standard form. So 60% are something other than the, the citation or standard form. The L handshake, uh, uh, actually slightly more common in Louisiana than in certain other places. And here we do have, and these are bar rule weights, and I'll talk you through this briefly. The main thing that we see here is that for the citation form, the standard form, you're more likely to get that with lexical items. So we can say very, very strongly for, for nouns, 0.89, very strong also for adverbs, adjectives, and verbs, Grammatical function signs, pretty close to that. And notice then when we look at the pronouns, uh, particularly pro2 and then getting down to pro1, those are much more likely to deviate from standard form. And what we see here is the reverse pattern pretty much with the two non-citation forms for which we have a sufficient number of tokens to do a, a real variable rule analysis. That is, you hardly ever get an L handshake, variable weight of 0.10, and you seldom get an open handshake with a noun. You get a few more of the L handshakes with an adverb, adjective, or verb, and those factors were combined because they didn't really differ from one another and it made sense to combine them. Uh, and, and you don't get that too much either with the open hand. But you notice, what do you get with the pronouns? 0.58, pro123, did not differ with, uh, for the L handshake. And notice then down on the uh, bottom, 0.70, the open hand, this hand, is very much favored for uh, a first person pronoun. So these results, when we get a sufficient amount of tokens, pretty much replicate what we had in the national study. <coughs> now here we also had a number of external constraints at work that turned out to be significant. These were run on three separate variable analyses with each of the three variants defined as the application value. So for the one hand shape, the, the citation form, we find that gender uh, is statistically significant. Women are more, used, are more likely to use the citation form, the standard form, than are men. And this is uh, generally in accord with, with well-established sociolinguistic uh, findings. What is not in accord with what we usually find in most sociolinguistic studies is that working class speakers, or working class signers, are more likely to use a standard form than middle class signers. Now to move on for the results, the external factors for the 
one hand shape for the L hand shape. The external constraints on that are age. Uh, younger signers are more likely to use this than older signers. Social class, here we have the obverse of what we had before. The middle class signers are more likely to use this than the working class. And here, ethnicity does come up significant. White signers are more likely to use the L handshake than are African Americans. So again, one more little piece of evidence suggesting that, that the African Americans here are using a more standard form of the language, at least with respect to these variables, than the white signers in Louisiana. Now, for the one handshake, the final result that we have here uh, among, for the open hand, among the external constraints, only age reads statistical significance. Uh, the two youngest groups, the signers under 55, were more likely to use the open handshake than the 55 and, old, uh, and over group. And I will turn it over to Seal. Oh, we got one more. Sorry about that. Uh, so what are, is our summary of results? That is, for uh, pronouns, especially the first person pronoun, are likely to be in either the L handshake or the open handshake. Lexical items are likely to be in the standard citation form. Women and working class signers favor the citation form. Younger signers, middle class signers, and white signers favor the L handshake variant. And if you're going to make a mistake, you should make it in big letters up on a screen. Uh, there's a typo here in the oldest signers disfavor the open uh, handshake variant. And you can all correct that on your handout right now. <laughs>